clan control. Let's look at the third type of control system, clan control. As the nature of work changes, market and bureaucratic controls are no longer as relevant or useful. Invisible work, variable work, flexible contracts, and hands-off management are increasing the need for empowerment rather than control. This motivational take on control is reflected in the relationships between groups and individuals within the organization. This is clan control and it's best viewed through an organization's culture. Some aspects of clan control include creating and building relationships between individuals and holding them accountable within these relationships based on mutual respect and encouraging each individual to take responsibility for his or her actions. Employees work within a guiding framework of values, use their own judgment within this relational model, and make decisions as to how they think is best to work around problems. Clan control also involves creating a culture where employees are empowered to decide how to work within certain parameters. Clan control is difficult because once it becomes ingrained, it is difficult to change the system from outside. Clans must change organically from within and learn an older culture and acquire the new culture. This is time-consuming process.